Hi, this is Ben. Um, just thought I'd show you guys around my English garden. I'm coming up to the end, really, of my, my first proper year of, of gardening at all. Um, so it's not all back to Eden, um, but I've really, this has really got into, into my blood. So let me just show you around and uh, you can see a few of the things, um, what, what we've been up to this year and what's going to happen. Looking forward to 2016. These are our ducks. We've got about a dozen, um, ten or so runner ducks, and we've got some chickens there that are giving us some lovely, tasty free range eggs. Two Muscovies here, and in the background there, you can just see their, the duck house. So, so we have to lock them in every night. And these guys do an amazing job at creating some wonderful um, mulch. Uh, duck droppings are, are very different to chicken droppings because they're not so hot with nitrogen so you can apply them straight onto your garden. We've got a roll of fencing wire here it's about three feet across and that's what I've been using to make some uh, leaf cages so I'll show you them. So we've got a lot of leaves at the moment literally I, s <laughs> I picked these ones up yesterday from here and again we've got a huge uh, layer of leaves. So this is what I've been doing with the uh, the fencing stuff. So literally I will I will take it, I'll take a length of it, hope you can see this, and I make a, a tube, it's about three feet across, about three feet high, and then literally I'll scrape up my leaves and uh, throw them straight into there. And the idea is that they'll they'll rot down over the winter and the spring to make lovely leaf mold which is an amazing kind of compost so these trees are amazing because you know if you think about what they're doing what they've got their roots going deep into the ground where they're going to pull up nutrients and minerals um, they take a lot of carbon i guess from the air and then they convert all that stuff into into this and it falls on the ground and you know this makes just the most perfect stuff so what, really what we're doing is um, as gardeners we are applying a kind of order to the um, you know what do we want to grow where do we want it to grow and then we're concentrating really that organic matter um, in the areas where we want to grow specific things here the ducks are all going to move out of the way okay so I'm gonna, just going to show you now We've got a little orchard area. Now, we, we've had huge problems with um, weeds. So this is lots of stinging nettles and other weeds. Um, and we've got two acres of this stuff. There's a lot of brambles as well, uh, blackberry bushes. So I've, I'm lucky enough to have a source of wood chips where I have to go and collect it by hand. Um, this is my pear tree. And so I'm starting to build up, as you can see, the the wet cardboard around the sides. I'm starting to reclaim this area and really almost nothing's coming through. There's one there, that's about it. Uh, we've got some other apple trees and other stuff as well. So hopefully over time I will be able to um, recover this garden and you know I think it's great because I, I know that I can just dig a little hole and I can plant a pumpkin or something in there if I want to. There, these are my first raised beds that I made. I've started to raise them a little bit higher. And what I've got here is I've got a, a, a layer of, it started out as a good 18 inches of um, just cut down um, weeds. And I, I cut those down with this implement here, which is absolutely amazing. You can see that. I, I guess these are on sale in the States and other areas as, as well. This literally, it's about three feet long, it's an African invention, and you just swing it from side to side, it does an amazing job of um, cutting down weeds. And then I'm green composting those right on there. Then I've got, on top of that, I've got uh, duck bedding, which is full of that lovely duck manure, uh, really rich. Um, so the idea is, and then I've got some other uh, weeds that I cut down from another area of the garden that have been composting for a couple of months in a pile, with a, in a hot pile. So the, what I'm hoping is that by spring, this will have rotted down to make some fairly decent compost. And at the very least, I can just push potatoes straight into it and they'll grow fantastically well. I've got sweet peas there on the wattle fence. 
These are the old potato plants. Loads of wild strawberries. They, they seem to love it here. Got runner beans. So I forgot to rig up a proper um, support for them. So they collapsed and went everywhere, but we've still got heaps of beans off them. So got some beans staying on the plant. These are going to become next year's uh, crop to plant. The kale, curly kale, has done really well. I've been juicing that up or stick it in my Nutribullet. That's amazing. That's stopped growing now. Leeks have done really well. You can see the duck bedding again. It's just, I'm just, you know, keep bringing it down by the wheelbarrow load. Every two or three days, clean the ducks out. They make this absolutely glorious stuff. Potatoes did really well in this, this wonderful soil compost mix. So we got loads of potatoes out of these containers that we just found one day. Got some pumpkins growing, little ones, more leeks, a load of brassicas that um, were too closely packed together. And in fact, what I learned as well is this, this bed is just too shallow. It's only about six inches deep. So I've got parsnips here that are just growing. They're growing really fat for the first few inches and then they just stop because they've got nowhere to go. And so that's more or less it. Some other beds here, which I tried growing potatoes and swedes in, um, but they were in the shade of this elder tree, so they didn't grow too well. So it's been an amazing, an amazing year. I really feel like I've learned a huge amount and it's, it, it's wonderful because it's, it's the most creative work, you know, and I'm literally all I think about, seem to think about these days is organic matter. I look around, I see leaves in places and I think, wow. And I see people burning leaves. I think, you guys are insane. Um, but yeah, I just, I just can't wait till, till next year now. But it, it's wonderful. Just, just a great feeling of planning this stuff every, you know, every day in those spare minutes and you know, think what we're going to do next. So, thanks for watching.